Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Now, I like to cover the YouTube cinematic clickbait universe. You know, we've looked at many stations on the internet. We've looked at J Station, uh, Habibi Station, Hood Station, uh, Bring Your Car Back to Life Station. And I gotta say everything, ladies and gentlemen, this is a giant collective like community of like clickbaiters on the internet. Now you might think, whoa, Mudahar, you're being a little harsh right now, clickbaiting? Yeah, that's most of what it is. And it's pretty terrible clickbait. Everyone clickbaits on the internet. But uh, these people are sort of like the masters at it, you know, enough to the point where they break the terms and services by outright lying and then uh, and, and then just getting away with it. But hey, let's cover this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Aldo's World TV, also known as uh, Discount Maestro from Rainbow Six Siege, Younger Maestro, whatever you want to call him. I don't know. He just sort of looks like him. Uploads videos where he talks about going into haunted houses, buying a haunted house off of the dark web. No, you didn't. You can't, you did not do that, all right? Like, I hate it when there's like people on the internet that peddle this shit. And then there's like 12 year old kids that are like, believe this shit, like fetuses that believe it, all right? If I sound a little tilted, it's cause you kinda can be. But there's even better videos than that. There's stuff like, don't sneak into Drake's mansion in Toronto or security will appear. Yeah, do not, wow, <laughs> okay. All right, well, what's the other video? Don't break into Area 51 or US Army will spawn. Yeah, they do a little more than spawning. They open fire, brother. Gets pretty dangerous if you ask me. Now, if you go to the About section on Aldo, you can see that he came around in 2013. Uh, got about 2.6 million subscribers. You know, fairly decent sized channel. Uh, business fan emails. You know, you can send them some fan mail if you wish. All right. But don't expect a fan mail if you sent it to the business mail. There's a fucking, that's like all caps, bro. This is some, vi damn, that must break the minds of somebody that can't read on this channel. Holy shit. <laughs> now, there are certain videos such as, oh my God, cut it. Dude, what do these titles look like? Fucking algebra, like equation. Like, what am I doing? PEMDAS? Oh my God, cutting open Sonic.exe doll at 3 a.m. Always fucking 3 a.m., dude. What's inside haunted Sonic.exe doll? All right, what's inside of a haunted.exe doll? Like, whatever. Now, this is one of those videos where, like, it's not actually clickbait, you know? It's just, like, what's inside of a haunted Sonic.exe doll? I mean, can I prove that there's no haunted.sonic.exe dolls? I don't know. But uh, if you ever wanted to cover creepypastas, well, I mean, you've got the next best thing right over here. I don't need to worry. Let's hit play on this video and see what we got. Sonic? Sonic? <laughs> Dude, we're not even like five seconds into the fucking video and he's already got like cookie cutter fiber effects running. You can't make this shit up. That's a 21 minute video. This isn't even like a 10 minute, one second video like most other clickbaiters. Bro, this is a 21 minute affair. This is a feature length presentation on clickbait. So tonight we're gonna be searching for Sonic and we're gonna end this once and for all. We're gonna catch- No, you're not gonna end it once and for all. <laughs> Are you kidding? I foresee 10 more Sonic.exe videos in the next couple like years. You, what are you, who are you, who are you kidding now though? Come on. Sonic the Hedgehog, we're gonna cut him open and we're gonna see what's inside Sonic. What is giving him this magical power? Before we start this video, I want you guys to absolutely burn the like button. I love it. I love when they're just like, hey, the video is not even a minute in, but just fucking smash that like button, kids. Not happening, Aldo. I ain't falling for that shit. That was a weird sound. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is the name. It says Saddle Matter. It says Pat Pend right there. That kind of looks like Chica. <sighs> hmm, maybe I'll FaceTime Foxy or Chica right after this video. But in <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Dude, he's like, for somehow, these people can say the most outlandish shit like, oh, that shit looks like Chica. Maybe I might FaceTime Foxy or whatever. Without like a giggle or a laugh or like shame. It's just like they say it. And like, it goes through their head, like it, it goes through unfiltered, they don't even have to cut the video. I couldn't say that shit with a straight face, dude, and they're getting away with it. This is some like, this is, this is crazy. Yeah. All right, now the thing with Aldo's videos is I will say that the first two minutes are probably the most important. And then he's got like a bunch of dead fucking air in the middle and it's almost worthless to watch it. So thankfully YouTube has implemented the uh, thumbnail like seeking system with YouTube videos. So you can just fucking skip everything you want. And right here, as you can see, that's a Sonic doll. So let's go see what's actually up with Sonic, all right? Fucking weird. What the? Sonic! Oh, 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 I got him! Oh, 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 I freaking got you. Don't you move. Holy hell, dude. <laughs> He's like running out of breath, touching a plushie. Ooh, it's getting sensual. Don't freaking move, Sonic. I got you, buddy. I got you right where I want you. What the? <laughs> 
Alright, alright, he's up there with like Eli fighting fucking Peppa Pig. <laughs> alright, dude. Alright, it's a doll, relax. It's not, it's not fucking possessed. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Smash that shit to the ground. Stomp on it, dude. Fight the possession. Holy water that bitch. What the? Whoa, whoa, no. Sorry, stop. Bro, bro, he's got Sonic bent over doggy style. This is gonna. I need to forward this a little bit. This is getting kind of. It's getting kind of saucy. Okay, so he. This is where he's gonna cut What's open the doll. Come on, dude. Open your freaking belly. All right. He's oh, actually no. cutting open a oh, Sonic God. doll. Oh what, my what God. He penetrated Sonic. Sorry, pal. I didn't say this wouldn't hurt. Oh my okay, God. Okay, guys. Cutting up Sonic. You're kidding! Sonic. Okay. It's nothing. It's just a bunch of cotton. There's nothing in here. There's literally nothing inside him. Oh, there's nothing inside the plushie doll that I fucking cut open. Man, dude, you not only not only did you kill an innocent blue hedgehog and all of it, you you killed the OZ, you killed the OC base of so many so much cringe on the internet, but you got nothing for it. Aldo, can you please FaceTime Mangle and give me a shout out? Oh, oh man, I don't you know, it's like, only these videos can have the comments that are, like, even fucking way more cringier than what you just watched. My lord. This is great. This is this is the best kind of content that I've ever witnessed. I should just turn to a turn to a 3 a.m. channel, dude. Apparently it just works. It does everything. Christ. Now, this is the more important video, okay? Don't go to McDonald's at 3 a.m. or RonaldMcDonald.exe will appear, okay? Nowhere in this ever description is it ever told or in the video, hey, this is some bullshit content we're making, kiddos. Nope. You just got a Kevin McLeod fucking music credit and uh, connect with Aldo. All right, God bless. But let's go hit play. This is an 18-minute video. Let's just get down to the nitty-gritty, okay? When we go through the drive through when McDonald's is closed. But not only that, this McDonald's is right beside a gas station. We all know all of the creepy stories about gas stations and what kind of weird things happen overnight at gas stations. Hey, yo, what up? <laughs> what? What, what happens at the gas stations? I thought he was about to go on some glory hole rant, but all right, you know, keep keep it PG for the kiddos, right? Hey, yo, guys, say what up to Chris behind the camera. Yo, yo, what's going on, dragons? Yo, so Aldo, uh, how'd you hear about this place? I, I think I might have found the doppelganger. Holy shit. Chris and me. <laughs> Whew, you know how they said there's like, there's like six billion people in the world and shit, and there's like a couple people that look the same? I think I found my doppelganger. I would love to meet Chris in reality. All right, so he's brought his buddy with him. All right, this is him and his buddy. They're about to find Ronald McDonald at three in the morning. Let's do it. Actually, I've been reading about it online. Most of these challenges I find either on Creepypasta or I find on Reddit. And so this one I found online is said that if you go to McDonald's at 3 a.m. to a drive through of a McDonald's that is actually closed and you keep going through the drive through eventually something is going to happen. Now, I don't know exactly what is supposed to happen, but there's only one way to find out. And guys, Chris doesn't believe that this is actually going to work. I don't think it's going to work, man. Why not? Honestly, it's, uh, it's McDonald's, bro. You honestly think something evil about McDonald's or what? Bro, I don't believe in your ch in these challenges, you know? It's, uh... Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love my doppelganger. He's like, hey, Aldo, I don't believe in any of this bullshit, okay? I'm just gonna be real with you. This is kind of cringe. And uh, I think you're lying, bro. Like, he's just straight. He, dude, he, it's like, it's like he's channeling my thought process. I love Chris. He's probably my favorite character in this fucking manga. I don't think so. Okay, I feel it. But, yo, here's the thing. Like, don't be hitting on me. Like, I... I don't make up these challenges. Some of you guys think that I make up these challenges? Bruh, you think I sit there at home um, thinking about these challenges? No, I don't make these things up. You guys request them, then I look them up, and I find out that they're actually challenges and that somebody online is making up these challenges and apparently they work. So if anything, you guys are the clickbaiters, not me. Okay. <laughs> what? What I... Dude, hold on. It can't be possible. Dude, okay, so this is some 60 chess move shit right here. Apparently, I guess we're the fucking bad. We're the clickbaiters. Not, not him. Not Aldo. Ever, never Aldo. So Aldo has said that basically what has occurred is he finds these things on creepypasta.com or, or, or Reddit, no sleep, uh, takes it seriously enough and says, no, you're the clickbaiters for asking me to make this content. Aldo, I don't think anybody was asking you to make the content, buddy. And uh, hey, yeah, the title... You uploaded it, bro. That's you. That's all on you, homie. 
All right. Uh, now I'll say it, it, it ain't no, it ain't no beating your wife for, 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 for downloading Fortnite like Eli so Cray did. But uh, I'll be real, brother. I'll be real. It's, it's, it, it's still clickbait. Wait, so someone recommends you to do these challenges? Yeah, so I went online and I read the challenge and we're gonna try the challenges. Some of these challenges, they don't work, so we actually don't post them, but the- Some of these challenges don't work. How about we just put a fucking asterisk and say, hey, all of these summoning challenges don't actually work. All right, let, let, let's, let's, not even, let's not even lie just a bit. Let's just be totally honest. Like, he's basically giving us like these half-truths, you know what I mean? Just, just, just be real. Just be real honest with us, come on. Now, in true Aldo's world fashion, most of this video does not fucking have any bit of content. You basically just have to go through all of these like discount paranormal activity scenes until you get to what you need. So, right here, you found a Ronald McDonald doll. Now, that doll's a little thick. It's got everything going for you, but is that proof that this place is haunted? Probably not. Yo, yo, what yo, what's that? Yo, yo, what the frick is that? Oh my god! Yo, yo all those are all the dolls! Yo, did you see that? Bro, we need to leave! We need to what leave! The frick? <laughs> okay, alright, let's... Now, the first question one could ask is, was the $50 Craigslist acting job worth it? I, I don't know. I gotta be real with you. I'll be real, it doesn't seem like it is. Now, I'll say this much, for, for, a lot of situ for a lot of things, you know, what, what it appears to me over there is this is a Canadian affair with both French and English being tossed in, so I'm glad to say that Aldo comes from my country. And not only that, but in a normal person's like brain, that would appear to be a crackhead. To Aldo, that appears to be a summoned McDonald. Now, I, that looks like a kind of discount McDonald, but that's what you got over there. Aldo has found a summoned version of a fucking company mascot at 3 in the morning. Some gas station McDonald's has the McDonald's crackhead living near it. Oh, oh, holy shit. Yo, don't move, don't move. Don't move, don't move. What the frig is that? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Bro, it's coming. Yo. Yo, it's coming towards us. Yo, what the? Yo, it's going towards us. Bro, drive. What are you waiting for, bro? Yo, yo, go, 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 go. For the doll. What the? Yo, what? The doll's gone, bro. The doll's there. gone. Bro, the doll's there. gone. Should we go check? Bro, the doll's gone. Bro, Here, bro. Diamond? Yeah, bro. I made this Diamond for myself. Gold? Yo, that was freaking weird. Yo, where'd you get the necklace from? What? This one? Yeah. Yo, this is the dragon necklace. Is that diamond? Yeah, bro, I made this diamond for myself, gold. and I put it on my Yo. store. Ah, uh, after he gets haunted by the McDonald's, he always has to talk about that diamond bracelet. This is one of the key cornerstones of Aldo's world. He's a fucking entrepreneur. Every time he gets haunted, for some, for some reason, he always has some jewelry or some fucking band or a sex toy or whatever the hell that he sells. Always constantly available for you to purchase on Aldo's World Store. Um, so yeah, you know, I gotta say, out of, out of most of the clickbaiters, you certainly know how to market yourself, buddy. Now this is one that is complete bullshit. This has actually worked. Don't spend $6.66 at McDonald at 3 a.m. or Ronald McDonald will appear. Must watch. Okay, so, um, this isn't real. None of it happened. But let's go and do it and see what we've got, okay? Big scary. Ronald McDonald. Oh, okay, okay. Big scary man. Do not do with my car, okay? No, no car. Can I come in? No, 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 no. <laughs> the Mactons kicked him out before he could go in! I love it, dude. Alda, Alda got straight rejected. After you got rejected, what are you gonna do? You got a 26 minute video, brother. You got a 26 minute video to cover. How's he gonna do it? Honestly, I thought maybe it is clickbait, but you know what? G Station, maybe it isn't clickbait after all. Yo, that's actually pretty scary, man. Yo, it's like wait, wait, did he, did he really, did he really, did, this proves that they're in a clickbait universe, bro. You just mentioned J Station. I love how J Station's like the middle, like, just like the midpoint of all of it. I mean, honestly, that's, that's always the craziest shit about this. Now, beyond that, he said that, man, could it not be clickbait? Could this, no, it, it is clickbait, bro. I mean, just look at the title. Actually worked? Did it? Well, we, we have yet to find out. Let's do it. I'm just doing this challenge for you guys. So I hope you guys are smashing that like button. <laughs> Yo, evil number 666. Have you heard that or no? Right. Yo! <laughs> dude! Dude! Dude, they had it. They were done with his shit. So, so like those fucking... Oh, no. I feel so bad for the Macdon employees. Christ. They booted him out. They booted him out. Now, I actually had to censor her face. Aldo didn't do it himself. 
Um, th those are privacy complaints, my guy. I would probably I would probably worry about that to begin with. But yeah, the McDonald's employees just told him to get the fuck out. We're done with your shit, brother. <laughs> Where's he gonna go now that he's bought a Big Mac? Nice. And we did buy it at 3 a.m. And I showed you guys the time. Honestly, bro, so Ronald nobody McDonald's, can hate. Ronald McDonald's like a creep. To be honest, like he's out here trying to hand out happy meals and stuff. It's because he wants a kid. It's so creepy. So, okay, we should set up our camera somewhere. I love how they called Ronald McDonald like creepy, like a creepy pedophile. Who's the one in the fucking crackhead bus right now? I mean, guys, it's like the, it's like the pot yelling at the kettle, you know? Come on, boys, please. Here. Okay, yeah, let's set up the burger. Yeah, yeah, let's put it all the way down there. Yo, the back door's open, dude. This That's is so sketchy. creepy. This is so creepy. Yo, bro, I thought this bus disappeared. Like God, it popped no, up right there. Anyway, he like attacked us. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders oh, everywhere. Gotta check our surroundings. Look, there's a web right there. Spiders all over the place, dude. Yeah. This is so bad. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw something crazy here. Okay, okay. okay so, let's make we literally brought the Big Mac. Oh, check yeah, it. It still yeah. looks tasty, bro. Nice. I gotta say, man, it, it, you look at this bus and you wonder, man, this is where like this is where like a homeless dude sleeps. Aldo has lost the compassion for even that. Tonight, the homeless man will not sleep in his abandoned bus. Tonight, Aldo will be using it to lure another Instagram actor into, into, the, into the bus. We'll, we'll see how this goes through. Maybe, maybe it's real. Maybe, maybe I'm just a cynical asshole. Who knows? All right, brothers, the trap has been placed. And here is Ronald McDonald coming to the fray. Bro, these guys are like on big boss extreme difficulty right now. They're just shining a flashlight on this like fucking zombie McDonald. Just let it, let it, let it eat the burger in peace, please. Christ, Aldo. All right, you summoned it. You proved it. But now he has a 10 minute video. And now, not only has he passed, you know, 10 minutes in a second, he's proven that Ronald McDonald exists. Aldo still needs to bring his cinematic vision across. You know, of course, he's the Martin Scorsese of cinematic fucking clickbait shit on the internet. But now we've got to add 16 more minutes to this. Now, what do you think he does for 16 minutes? Well, flipping through, he runs through the forest and gets into his car and escapes. Ronald McDonald is chasing them, and that's about it. It is a shitty variant of Blair Witch, i got to be real with you. Or some stupid found footage movie. Or something. Did he walk out the pack, dude? I don't know. Make sure you smash that like button. Yeah, smash it, please. Go follow us both on Instagram, okay? All those little double seven. Go follow Leo Swartz, guys, so you guys can see the behind the scenes. Oh man, I love being hunted by a crackhead and then somehow still f fucking plugging in your Instagrams and Snapchats through it. All, honestly, the greatest idea, dude. Guys, I may die, but please make sure you follow my Snapchat for those premium uh, premium snaps. <laughs> all right, all, all, all of this is pointless towards this point. Now, I gotta say, most of Aldo's videos at this point just devolve into pointless nonsense. I mean, when you go to like the six months ago category, he's like really heavy in the lying clickbait nonsense where it's like, actually worked, it worked. Don't play X for Bart chapter two at three in the morning. Michael Jackson can hear you, bro. He's dead. Let him rest. You don't need to bring him back. This one worked where he brought back Squidward's videos at three in the morning. Now Squidward has shown up to my house, unmasking Homer Simpson at three in the morning. I hope you don't realize it's, it's a mask, brother. You're, you're straight beheading it. There's a lot of beheading on this channel. That's kind of weird. It's gross, dude. That's fucked up. Don't watch creepy Pokemon videos at three in the morning or Detective Pikachu will appear where he's showing the HD trailer for Detective Pikachu. Bro, you can't, you can't even like edit in a disgusting like spooky chew in there. Come on, Aldo. Come on. You got to try harder than that, dude. This is like no effort shit. I called you the Scorsese of clickbaiting and now you're coming out to be the fucking Adam Sandler of clickbaiting. Come on, dude. Step it up, maestro. So now we're at like the whole Baldi's basics, like fucking Dame Tu Cosita at FaceTime and three in the morning. And I honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm not that drunk to be doing this. So, uh, you know, I could pop back another fucking handle of a uh, handle of whiskey and, and watch these, but I think that'd be bad for the health. I'm going to stop and, and call it a day. All right. That was, uh, that was Aldo's world TV. Now, of course, this is a clear violation of terms and services, you know, obviously, obviously coming up with these, uh, these, these real challenges, these real scary summonings. Um, you know, that's not even the worst part. Like, out of all of it, though, I was kind of half impressed with his videos. And then towards the end, when you got to the clickbaity stuff, if these guys kind of stuck to, like, you know, that semi-clickbait where they're beheading Sonic dolls, I'd probably get more into it. But when you get down to my doppelganger calling you out on the clickbait, you know the meta jokes are really coming in hard. But I'm going to leave the interpretation to you, the audience. Do you genuinely believe that what you witnessed was real? Let me know in the comments section below, and we can contact any nearby authorities, nearby medical staff that can help you with your chronic case of schizophrenia or, 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 or a condition. You know, I'm just trying to be nice as I can. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm always out for your welfare. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.